good evening guys <clears throat> in the last session we discussed about several commands in the git bash one is a git help command which is used to display frequently used commands in the git those are very famous commands git config command which is used to configure our email id and username in the git bash init command to initialize our project as a sorry to initialize our folder as a git repository folder when you do this git init it will create a dot git when you do git init it will create a dot git folder that is initializing our folder as a repository folder for the git git status command will display the files which are staged unstaged and untracked so it will display basically the status of your working tree then git add a dot whenever you create a file or you modify a file if you want to commit that file directly you can't commit it first you need to add that file to the staging area to add the file to the staging area we are using git add dot so all the files which are modified will be added to staging area then we are going for git restore command so git restore is used to unstage the files git add is used to stage the file git restore is used to unstage the file then git commit command commit command is used to commit the changes from working tree to local repository then after once you commit the changes to the local repository in the git then to push the changes from the local repository to the central repository we will use a git push command then next one git clone command the next one git lock command git clone command it is used to clone the repository from central to local system now i newly joined in the project the project is already running i want to take the existing project from the repository i want to take the existing project from the repository then we are going to do git clone so the whole project will be downloaded from git repository to git clone the whole project will be downloaded from git repository to git clone by using git clone then what is the purpose of git log what is the purpose of git log can you guys tell me what is the purpose of git log guys come on what is the purpose of git log git log is used to show all the commits that we have done for our project git log is used to show all the commits we have done for our project clear with my point are you clear with my point right remote add what is the purpose of remote add command what is the purpose of remote add command to create the link between our working tree project and repository we are going to use git remote add command to specify the repository url we are going to do remote add command perfect so here we have created this project and we have committed right guys so let's go back to our practice folder git work this is our maven project git work is available maven build tool project is there 01 maven app dot git is available let's open git bash from here let's open git bash from here can you see the git status so what is the status currently what is the git status currently currently everything is clean currently everything is clean now i'm going to make some changes to pom.xml i'm going to make some changes to pom.xml okay spring core is available now along with the core i'm adding one more dependency called spring context along with the core i'm adding one more dependency called context so can i say that i have added a new dependency for the project spring core is added spring context is added now go to git bash git status so what is the status of my file now not staged for commit so do you know how to stage it git add a dot the file is staged see the status git status file is added to staging area can i do unstage of the file can i do unstage of that file 
yes i can do unstage of that file also how can i do the unstage of that file git restore git restore double hyphen staged file name what is that file name pom.xml unstaged now can i do the status yes file is unstaged then what is the purpose of restore command what is the purpose of restore command now currently i have added context dependency in the pom.xml now my file is in the unstaged format what is the restore what is the purpose of restore command git restore git restore pom.xml i have done the restore yes what happened that is removed or not my changes are undo or not yes so restore is used to undo our changes now let me add the dependency again add the dependency again instead of this i'm adding context dependency once again okay context dependency i have added now check the status git status that file is modified pom.xml then git add dot that file is added to staging area then git status file is in the staged state you can do unstage you can do commit now git commit iphone m um, added context dependency i have added context dependency fine then do git push guys when i am doing for first time i will use git push iphone origin main when i'm doing first time i'm going to give iphone origin main why because first time when we are committing the project to the repository you need to tell that what is your branch main branch is available default branch that is a main branch already once you do the push then next time you no need to do iphone u origin main you can just do git push only if you are committing the fresh project to the git repository for first time then only you need to give git push iphone u origin master or origin main when you are doing the push for the second time you no need to specify that origin and all directly you can do the git push so now i have done the git push can you see my commit is changed in the repository it is my in the central repository my commit is reflecting in the central repository my commit is reflecting or not yes my commit is reflecting in the central repository one minute ago i have done the commit it is displaying pom.xml changed what is this can i say it is a commit id seven characters are displaying but actual commit id will have 40 characters from the 40 it is displaying only first seven characters commit id pom.xml yes we are able to generate the commits we are able to generate the commits can we see the commit history log yes total three times i have committed to repository here it is displaying three commits history now three commits history it is displaying okay now guys uh, in the interview they may ask one question called what is git stash in the interview they will ask one question called what is git stash command now let's understand one scenario mostly developers will use this git stash command but in the interview they may ask devops engineers also about what is git stash command okay first understand the use case today morning today morning at 9 30 a.m today morning 9 30 a.m manager assigned manager assigned jira task jira task 101 that is a task id <clears throat> okay jira task we have we got assigned from the manager at morning 9 30 a.m manager assigned jira task with a 101 id it is related to some changes we are working on that i have started i have started my work at 9 45 am i started my at my work at 9 45 am i'm doing my work working 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 i'm working on that again manager called me at 2 pm manager called me at 2 pm 
manager told manager told that hey ashok 101 is not priority today 101 is not priority now priority now so please stop the work and complete story 102 morning at 9:30 he assigned me 101 i have started my work for the 101 story i am in the middle of the work i am working on that i am in the middle same manager called me at 2 pm he told me manager told that hey ashok 101 story is not priority now not priority now so please stop the work and complete story 102 on priority on priority complete 102 first okay guys are you able to understand this scenario are you guys able to understand the scenario what is giving by the manager he assigned a task at 9 30 101 story id every task will have one id in the jira he assigned a story with 101 we have started our work with 101 i am doing my code changes and i am in the middle of the work at 2 pm my work is not completed for 101 i am in the middle I have done, I'm doing the code changes. I'm in the middle. My changes are not completed. At two o'clock, manager called me and told me, stop the work on the 101 and work on the 102. Now, if for the 101, I have modified several files, guys. Can I commit those files to the repository? My work is completed or my work is partially completed? At 2 p.m., what is the status of the 101 task? My work is partially completed. When my work is partially completed, can I commit that work to the repository? Can I commit that work to repository? No, because my work is partial. If I commit the code to repository, existing code may not work because my changes are incomplete. My changes are not completed fully. I'm in the middle of the work. I don't know. What is the behavior? How the code is going to work? I'm in the middle. 2 p.m. He told me stop the work on the 101 and go to 102. Then what is my feeling at 101? Uh, whether 2 p.m. about the 101 changes are partially completed. Can I delete the changes and work on the 102? Half day work waste. If I delete the changes, my half day work will be wasted. Yes. If I delete the changes I have done for 101, my half day time will be wasted. If I commit the changes, existing functionality may break in the repository. Then what we need to do in this situation? What you will do in this situation? Can you think about the scenario? Can you think about the scenario? You will resign. Huh? You will resign for your job. Huh? <laughs> you will resign for your job, huh, man. What we need to do in this scenario, whatever the work we have done, we need to save our work in the temporary location and we need to complete the new task which we have created. Save the work whatever you have done. Save the work whatever you have done for the 102. Save the work whatever you have done for 101. Then continue the task 102. Then complete that task. Then get back your changes. That is called stash command. In this scenario, we will go for stash. In this scenario, we will go for stash command. Why I am not keeping my code in the Git repository? My code is not completed fully. My work is partially completed. With the partial work, if I store in the Git repository, other developers code may affect. Other developers code may affect with the partial code if I do commits. 
so that's why when i am in the middle of the work i am going to save my work in the temporary location then i am going to work on the new story which is assigned for me i will complete the new story then i am going to commit that in this scenario we will go for stash command let me tell you fine guys currently can you see the status uh, observe carefully guys observe carefully how i am going to do the git stash now git status what is my status what is my status currently my working tree is clean my working tree is clean or not come on working tree is clean or not working tree is clean now i am adding one dependency i'm adding one dependency which is spring jdbc i have added one dependency which is called spring jdbc i'm in the middle git status i'm in the middle my pom.xml file is modified my pom.xml file is modified i want to do some other research also what are the remaining dependencies are required for my project i have added one dependency called jdbc to fix the issue and i need to identify what is the other problems and i need to fix them my work is not completed i am in the middle of the work i am in the middle of the work manager told me ashok whatever the work you have done park that work whatever the work you have done park that work save that work temporarily and work on the new task then what is the new task is i need to create one new java file and i need to push that java file to fix one issue i need to create one new java file or i need to create one text file and i need to push the text file to the repository now here guys already i have modified my pom.xml my work is not completed fully partially i have completed my work now manager told me morning to work on the 101 i have started i am working on my work is completed partially i have just added one dependency i am in the middle of the work Now manager told me Ashok, one not one is not important today. You stop it. You stop it. You complete one not two. For one not two, I need to make some other changes in the pomdad XML. If I want to make some other changes in the pomdad XML for one not two, can I commit this? I should commit this or I should not commit this? For one not two, do I need to commit this or I should not commit this? I should not commit this. Are you getting my point? I should not. commit this so what i am going to do here currently what is the status of my working tree pom.xml modified now i am going to do git stash i am going to do git stash go to pom.xml whatever i have changed is it available did i committed that i have committed that or i have stashed that did i commit my change or i have stashed my change whatever the change i have done in the pom.xml i have not committed i have stashed stash nothing but storing in the temporary location stash nothing but storing in the temporary location now i need to work on 102 for 102 what i am going to do is i am going to create one new text file email email body dot txt one new file i have created now when i do git status how many changes will display only the file is displaying what about the change in the pom.xml that change is removed it is stashed now git add git add dot this file is added then git status this file is added to staging area git commit hyphen m text file added text file added then git push then git push so now can you see here one text file is committed can you see one text file is committed come on text file is committed or not it is for one or two issue fix so my one or two is completed once the one or two is completed can i get back to my previous work partially i have completed one or one now my one or two work is completed can i come back and complete the remaining work of the one or one yes then what i need to do here in the pom.xml there is nothing available then i am going to do one thing git stash apply git stash apply now go to your pom.xml are you getting that file back are you getting that change back 
Are you getting that change back? Uh, understood? When to go for git stash command? Understood what is the stash command? Yes. So when we are working, when we are working on one task, suddenly we may get some other priority task. Some other priority task. It is just for parking purpose. When we are working on one task, suddenly we may get some other priority task. Okay. Use case I'm going to give you. Use case I'm going to give you. People are not listening to the class. Same thing what they are asking, I have explained. Okay. Use case manager assigned. Manager assigned task ID 101. I am working on that task. I'm in middle of the task. I'm in middle of the task. Manager assigned. Manager told that park the work, park work on stop, stop the work for 101 and work on and continue work on stop the work for 101 and complete 102 on priority once 102 is completed then resume your work on 101 understand my scenario manager assigned a task id 101 i have done the changes for the 101 i'm in the middle of that work then suddenly manager called me and told me stop the work on the 101 and complete 102 on priority. Once 102 is completed, then resume your work on 101. When manager asked us to stop, when manager asked us to start 102, start 102 task, we have already done, we have already done few changes for 101 partial changes partially completed partially completed partially completed we cannot push partial changes to repository we cannot push partial changes to repository because with our partial changes with our partial changes existing functionality may break we can't remove, we can't delete our changes. We can't delete our changes because we have spent few hours to work on that. We have spent few hours of time to implement those changes. Okay. Can you understand these points now? Can you understand these points now? Read it. When we are working on one task, suddenly we may get some other priority task. Use case, manager assigned a task ID 101. I'm working on, I'm working on that task. I'm in middle of the work. Manager told that stop the work for 101 and complete 102 on priority. Once 102 is completed, then resume your work for 101. This is the scenario. When manager asked us to start, when manager asked me to start, when manager asked me to start one or two tasks, I have already done, I have already done few changes for one or one. Partially my changes completed. Partially my changes completed. We cannot push the changes. We cannot push the partial changes to repository because if I push my partial changes, it may affect the existing functionality. We can't push partial changes to repository because with our partial changes, existing functionality may break. We can't delete our changes. Existing functionality may break. We cannot delete our changes. We cannot delete our changes because we have few hours of time. We have spent a, we have spent a few hours of time to implement those changes. If I delete, our time will be wasted. If I delete, our time will be wasted. In this scenario, in this scenario, we will go for 
in this scenario we will go for git stash option we will go for git stash option git stash is used to git stash is used to save working tree changes is used to save working tree changes to temporary location and make working tree clean working tree clean to get the stashed changes back we can get after priority work is completed after priority work completed we can get stashed changes back stashed changes back using git stash apply git stash apply come on guys please read this theory guys it is little confusing command it is little confusing command if you really face the situation in the project then only you will understand it okay you have done some work for one task you are in the middle then manager told you to stop that work and work on the another task so whatever the work we have done for the first task we have to save the work we have done for the first task in the temporary location then work on the second task complete the second task once the second task is completed then come back to the first task work and complete the first task also samjha requirement samajh mein aaya guys use case samajh mein aaya use case did you understand you can do multiple stash backups also stash backups will be applied with indexes stash backups will be applied with indexes you can do multiple stash stash apply index name you can specify yeah guys once again read it if you don't understand please read that stash is used to park our changes it is used to store the current changes to temporary location and make our working tree clean and make our working tree clean that's it are you clear with the git stash and git stash apply simple okay very good so we understood the git commands we understood the git commands index comes when we execute the git stash it will apply stash with the index it will apply stash with the index we can get the stashes back by using index git stash apply index id you can specify git stash list command you can use git stash list now see here is it displaying the stash index id what are the stashes available you can display the stash with the indexes git stash list command will display the indexes when you want to apply the stash git stash apply index id you can specify based on that it is going to understand yeah if you save in the local repository mr mahmud if i do save the changes in the local repository when i do the commit local repository changes will be committed to central repository na if i do the if i save the changes in the local when i commit the changes for one or two the local repository changes will be committed to central right you understand the problem of saving in the local now someone is asking why are you doing the stash here why don't you store in your local repository i will store in the local repository no problem but when i do the commit for one or two local repository changes will go to central or not 
I don't want to send the one not one changes to the central with one not two. One not one is done partially. I want to stop it. I want to send only one not two changes. Once the one not two changes are sent to the repository, then only I want to complete my work on the one not one. Then I want to send only one not one. If you save your one not one in the local, when you do the commit for one not two, one not one changes also will go to the repository. I don't want to do that. That is the reason. we are storing in the temporary location by using stash command when you save in the local only local repository changes will go to central with the push commit if you do it will save in the local when you do push all the changes in the local will go to central got it guys anybody not able to understand this anybody who is not able to understand this git stash command you can raise your hand in the zoom i want to clarify this before going to next concept yeah sujatha yes, hello sujatha what is your doubt I think you gave uh, you and with me. Uh, yeah, hi Muhammad. What's your doubt? Yes, please. Yes, yeah, so one, one more time. So you said when we use this push command, then only it will just um, it will just go to the uh, central repo. But um, if you just use this command, it will stay in your local repo. So why not use this local repo instead? Like one, I already I already clarified that right. If you store in the local, when you do the push, local repository changes will go to central. Yes, but you don't need to do the push. You just need to save it and then and go back and then work on this. Uh, other so project. if you want to save in the local repository, you need to commit it. If you commit it, it will save in the local repository. Otherwise, you need to do one thing. Manually, you need to remove the change and copy in the other file. Then you do the changes. You commit it. Then you that is a manual work. so whatever the change i have done i am in the middle i will remove the change from here i will keep in another file then i will continue my work on that file i will commit that is a manual work git is directly giving you option to save the changes in the temporary location if you do the change in one file then you can do that if i done the changes in the 10 files how you will remember where you have done all the changes yes but If I just, just like if, yeah, but if I just use this comment, it will just say my local repository, isn't it? Sir, I'm telling you the same thing again and again. Uh, one at one commit you have already done. You are in the middle. You are in the middle of the work. Your work is not completed. So this is your project. Okay. One at one changes done. One at one changes are in middle. Right. now this is my git local repo this is my git local repo and this is my git remote repo how the changes will be pushed to remote repo can i directly push it to the remote or central repo always the changes should go from the local repository to central repository now from this is my working tree this is my working tree when i do git commit it will move from the working tree to local repo this is commit this is commit this is push are you guys clear with me in this diagram are you guys clear with this diagram yes i am doing the changes in the working tree that is my project i am doing the changes in the working tree i have done the changes for one at one i am in the middle my changes are not fully completed partially completed if i do commit with the partial changes what will happen those changes will go to local repository they will save in the local repository when i do push from the local it will go to central theek hai manager told me stop it a one not one ko stop karo then i need to complete one not two one not two changes one or two story changes one or two story changes i want to do here i am in middle 
I'm in middle. Now, when I'm in the middle, can I save them in the local repository? And can I continue with the 102? What is the problem? If I do commit with the 101 changes, they will save in the local. So 101 changes will be saved in the local. If I do commit here, then I will commit 102 changes. Then I will do push. When I do the push, only 102 changes will go or complete local repository changes will go. Complete local repository changes will, will go. So you should not commit 101 changes here. If you commit 101, 101 changes are partial. You are in the middle of the work. That some work what you have done for 101 will be committed to local. Then you are making the changes to 102. 102 changes also you are committing to the local. Then finally, when you do the push, your intention to push 102, but actually push will push all the changes in the local repository. So 102 changes will go. 101 partial changes also will go when you follow this approach. So that's why what we need to do in this scenario is we have done the 101 changes. We are in the middle. Whenever you are in the middle of the changes, then you do git stash for it. Then you do git stash for it. When you do the git stash for it, then what will happen? 101 changes, whatever are there in the middle, those changes will be removed from the working tree because they are already stored in the stash. Now you do the changes for 102. You commit the changes to the local. From the local, you push the changes to repository. Only your 102 changes are going to the repository because 101 changes are applied to the stash. They are in the temporary location. Once the 102 work is completed, then I want to get the changes back from the stash. How can I do the changes back from the stash? Then I will do git stash apply. Whatever the 101 changes I have stored in the temporary location will come back to my working tree. Then I can continue my work on the 101. Then I can complete it. Samja? Guys, all of you able to understand what is the purpose of stash command? When you are in the middle of some work, if you want to complete the some other work, whatever the changes you have done partially, you save in the temporary, then you complete that work. Once your work is priority work is completed, then get back the partial work from the stash by using stash apply. Uh, sir, when you uh, when we did git add, it will go to git dash area, right, sir, from working directory to git dash area, right, sir? When you do? Git add command. Uh, what is the purpose of add command? It will add uh, those changes. Uh, that is the staging area. From, yeah, staging yeah. area. Staging oh, okay. area. Stash staging is different. Area. Staging is different. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, from working I have a question. Okay, yeah. Sir, yeah. Thank you. So, is this applicable for the new files also? Yes, new files also. You can do that. Anything, whatever yeah. the changes are there in the working tree, that complete changes will be removed from the working tree, will be saved in the temporary location. The main aim of the stash is whatever the uncommitted changes are available, save them to the temporary location and make our working tree clean. That is the main aim of the stash command. Got it? Jyoti, did you understand my point? Sir, uh, can you listen to me? What I'm asking is, we uh -huh. have to go to github.com and see that that's where, because I just executed, but I still can see the changes on my local. I means local means on my explorer if I go to the files and I still can see the change. So I was just wondering whatever the uh, things that should be. Do one uh, thing. First, uh, make some changes in your file. Then do the git stash. I did that. After that, make some other changes and push it. Okay. Then after pushing, then apply git stash. You will get back your changes, whatever you have saved temporarily. Okay. 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 Right. I, I will try. Okay. Fine, guys. Right. Chalo. Next one. After this git stash, 
the next concept that we need to understand is git branches guys so people are asking from day one sir what is your branch in the git so we will talk about the git branches now git branches that is very 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 important topic in the git git branches branch strategy definitely in the interview they are going to ask that what are the branches in the git repository they are going to ask what are the branches in the git repository branches are used to maintain branches are used to maintain separate code bases for our project branches are used to maintain separate code bases for our project okay now guys here in our project now we have one project we have some project when you go for a project project development is happening development in progress future enhancements project development completed project development completed project development completed release it to production project development completed and release it to production this is facebook.com project project development completed release it to production now whenever the people are using the project in the production there is a chance of getting some problems or not are you going to get some bugs in the project guys whenever we are having a project running in the production are you going to get some bugs in the project are you going to get some bugs in the project or we don't get any bugs in the project tell me guys are you going to get some bugs in the project or we don't get the bugs in the project bugs will be available so for this project production support to team will be available production support to team to fix the bugs production support to team will be available to fix the bugs and some enhancements development will be available enhancements new changes enhancements will be available enhancements development enhancement development now tell me total how many teams are working on the project can you tell me how many teams are working in the project production team is working production support team to fix the bugs enhancements development is happening and world development team is also available development team is available some people are working on the bug fixing and some people are developing on the working on the new enhancement it is it is dev team it is dev team it is support team it is support team this is new new development new requirements new requirements team new requirements dev team so total how many dev teams are available for the project now three dev teams are available for the project one team is doing the ongoing development and dev team ongoing enhancement development team and there is a another team available who is doing r and d some team is available who is going to do r and d on the project any some new implementations that how can we do better any new functionalities that we need to implement in the project some r and d team is also available in the project how many people are available now how many types of teams are available four teams are working on the same project i can say four teams are working on the same project development team is working they are doing the development releasing the production project development completed release it to production dev team is there support team when the project is released to the production we are going to get some issues we need to fix those issues to fix the issues we need to have a team production support team will be available 
and some new requirements are coming from the client new requirements are developing by one team and some r and d team is available they are doing some research and analysis on the project okay for our facebook.com there is a git repository available for the facebook.com there is a git repo available now can we ask can we ask all the members to work on the same repository same repository same code base if everybody is working on the same code base then what is the problem these people are doing the work on the same code base these people are working on the same code base these people working on the same code base these people working on the same code base these people working on the same code base what is the problem what is the problem in this scenario guys production support team is fixing the bug whatever the bug is fixed by the production support team immediately that should be released to the live when the production support team want to release the code to the live whatever the new development is happening in the project can i release the new development task also to the production whenever the issue is fixed in the production i need to move only issue fix changes to the live server can i is can i push can i can i deploy new activity new development task also to the live environment i should not do so if everybody working on the same project we are going to get multiple problems project is already in the production some issue is coming we are fixing the issue we want to deliver the issue to the live server when i want to deliver the issue to the live server r and d team is making some changes to the code because of the r and d team changes my existing functionality may not work because of new development activity my existing functionality may not work so can we combine all the team members work in one place can we combine all the team members work in one place no we need to maintain separate code bases that's where branches comes in the repository so in the branches what i am going to do is i will create one branch called develop branch i will create one branch called prod branch that is also called as a release branch and i will create one branch called r and d branch research branch i will create research branch i am going to create i'm going to maintain multiple branches in the repository i'm going to maintain multiple branches in the repository okay now the people who are doing the bug fixing those people who are doing the bug fixing will do the changes on the release branch will do the changes on the release branch the people who are doing the development activities will do on the develop branch the people who are doing the r and d will work on the research branch new enhancements will be developed to the research branch or new development activities can be implemented in the develop branch like this so everybody should have a every team all are developers only some team is working on the new development activities some, some team members are working on the research and development some team is working on the bug fixes some people are doing the ongoing development so when multiple development teams are working on the project can we ask all the developers to keep the code in one place we should not ask all the developers to keep the code in one place if we ask all the developers to keep the code in one place then that production will not happen so many issues are we are going to get because so r and d team is doing some changes to the code production team is doing some changes to the code and enhancement team is doing the changes ongoing development team is doing the changes to the code when multiple teams are working on the same project we may get multiple issues in the project that's why we are going to maintain branches in the git repository branches main purpose is branches are used to maintain separate code bases for our project development team will use development team development team will integrate the code will integrate the code in develop branch develop branch okay bug fixing team bug fixing team will integrate will integrate the code will integrate the code in 
release branch. We'll integrate the code in the release branch or whatever the branch. We can take it as a QA branch. QA branch. Okay. R&D team will work on research branch. R&D team will integrate will integrate the code in research branch. Okay. Branches are used to maintain separate code bases for our project. In the Git repository, we can create multiple branches. In Git repository, we can create multiple branches. Like by default, one branch will be available, guys. Main branch will be available. Then we can create a develop branch. We can create a QA branch. We can create a release branch. We can create a research branch like this. Now in the real time for every project, we will have multiple branches. Main branch will be available. So whenever I create a repository, you guys asked me, sir, what is main? What is branch? What is main? I have committed my project to the main branch by following some commands, right? Here I have committed, I have chosen a branch M main. That means whenever we create a repository, by default, we will get one main branch. Some people will use the main branch name as a master. Some people will use it as a main only. So currently, how many branches are available in my repository? Currently, how many branches are available in my repository? Only one branch is available, main branch. So my project is having four development teams. Enhancement team is available. R&D team is available. Ongoing development team is available. Production support team is available. Four teams are development teams only. Some people working on R&D research they are doing on the project. Some new APIs, new frameworks they are experimenting. Some people are working on the future releases. Some people are working on the ongoing releases. Some people working on the bug fixing. When multiple teams are working, if multiple teams work on the same code, then what is the problem? Are you going to get the problems if all the teams are working on the same code? Definitely we'll get the problem because whatever the code is doing by the developers should go to the release. Production support team, development team should go to release. They should be released the project into production. Whatever the R&D team is doing, enhancement team is doing, that should not be deployed to the server because this R&D is happening for next year. Conflicts will come. Next year, we want to deploy the research work we are doing for next year, not for this year. So if everybody work on the same project, if, the, if everybody working on the same branch, then issues will come. You cannot deploy the changes to the production. So to overcome this problem, what we are going to do, we are going to maintain multiple branches in the repository. Repository is only one. Inside the repository, multiple branches will be available. What are the names available for the branches? Main branch available, develop branch available, QA branch available, release branch available, research branch is available. Like this, we are going to take multiple branches. Okay. When you do, when we have multiple branches, what is the advantage, guys? When we have the multiple branches, what is the advantage? What is the advantage when we have the branches like this? Come on, what is the advantage when we have the branches like this? Everybody can work on their own branch. Everybody can work on their own branch. So whatever the production team is working, it will not have any impact of the R&D work and the enhancement work. R&D and enhancement happening in the separate branches. Production support issues are fixing in the separate branch. Different, different code bases will be available for our project. Branches are used to maintain separate code bases for our project. In Git repository, we can create multiple branches, main branch, develop branch, QA branch, release branch, research branch, like that different different branches will be available. Development team will work on the develop branch. Bug fixing team will integrate the code in the QA branch. R&D team will integrate the code in the research branch. Okay, now how to create the branch here? how to create the branch already we have a main branch now can i create another branch here yes so select this create a branch name i am making it as a develop create the develop from main click on this click on this now 
how many branches are available for my project how many branches are available for my project two branches so developer branch is available main branch is available where people will do the development now people will do the development in the main branch or people will do the development in the developer branch people will do the development in the main branch or people will do the development in the development branch people do the development in the development branch people will do the development in the development branch where the r and d team will work for r and d team we will create a separate branch main branch is available create one branch called research create a branch from main now see here how i am creating a branch select the branch drop down main is available here you can type the branch name you can type the branch name research with this name there is no branch available it is giving me an option create branch research from the main click on this click on this so research created so total how many branches are available now total how many branches are available now three branches are available three branches are available okay now let's take this copy this copy this let me delete let me go to my git work delete everything i want to clone your repository can you tell me how can i clone your repository git bash now git clone url git clone url now here we have one branch in one branch in the repository or we have three branches in the repository we have one branch in the repository or we have three branches in the repository we have three branches in the repository when i do git cloning which branch will come when i do git cloning which branch is coming now which branch is coming now let's see here i got the project zero to devops maven app go inside that project cd space zero to devops maven app oh so which branch is coming now by default which branch is coming now main branch is coming but i am a i am a research team member i want to download i want to clone research branch not the main branch understood my point whenever you do git clone with the url which branch is coming by default when i do git clone with the url by default which branch is coming main branch is coming but i am a research team member i don't want this main branch i don't want this main branch i want a research branch i want research branch so can you tell me how can i take the research branch code how can i take the git research branch code git to clone iphone b research branch name and url git to clone iphone b research that is the branch name and the url so if you do git to clone with the url it will give you default branch which is main if you want to clone a particular branch then you need to go for git to clone iphone b branch name and the url now clone it so now go to cd space 02 devops app now which branch i got which branch i got now research branch i got so you understand how to clone a repository how to clone particular branch in the repository do you understand how to clone the repository how to clone particular branch in the repository now tell me how to clone a repository how to clone particular branch in the repository come on <laughs> okay we can create the branches from github.com in github in github we can create branches we can create branches to clone particular branch to clone particular branch in git repo we will use below command what is the command we are going to use guys git clone iphone b branch name then we will give repo url 
git clone hyphen b branch name repo url if we don't give the branch name it will give by default default branch you understood so currently my working tree pointing to which branch guys currently my working tree is pointing to which branch now research branch how can i check it git branch what is the name it is coming research research now see here git checkout main oh now i switch it to which branch now i switch it to which branch now main branch so can i switch from one branch to another branch can i switch from one branch to another branch yes now currently tell me how to check i am pointing to which branch in my project there are two branches i have in the local one is main branch another one is a research branch which branch i am pointing currently main branch let me create one file let me create one file in the main branch guys now zero to devops app email body text file is available touch demo.txt one file i have created git status git status demo.txt git add dot now git commit git commit hyphen m added demo.txt file git push this file is committed to which branch now this file whatever the demo.txt file is committed to which branch now go to main branch go to main branch can you see demo.txt in the main branch can you see demo.txt in the main branch is that file available in the research branch is that file available in the research branch not available so we can do the commits to a particular branch the teams which are working on the project they will work on a particular branch they will work on a particular branch okay currently i am pointing to which branch guys can you tell me currently i am pointing to which branch here currently i am pointing to which branch here now tell me i am pointing to which branch now main branch okay in the main branch i have a demo.txt can i switch to research branch git checkout research now see here in the research branch demo.txt not available when i switch to research branch that file demo.txt disappeared from the folder is the demo.txt file coming or not coming is that file displaying or not displaying not displaying why it is not displaying currently i am pointing to research branch so the code which is displaying here is belongs to research branch i am switching from one branch to another branch in the research branch demo.txt file is not available let me switch back to the main branch how to switch back to the main branch check out main i switch it to main branch git to check out branch name that means i am checking out the main branch when i am in the main branch demo.txt file is displaying when i am in the main branch demo.txt file is displaying or not demo.txt file is displaying when i switch it to the main branch demo.txt file is displaying okay now let's go for git checkout let's go for git checkout of research now that file is disappeared so you understand how to clone a particular branch and how to switch from one branch to another branch and why we need the branches so now can anyone tell me why we need branches in the github can you guys tell me why we need branches in the github come on guys fast ha uh, teams can work independently so to do the works parallelly in the project we are going to maintain the branches in the repository multiple development teams will be available in the project to work parallelly to continue our works parallelly so development team will be working on that one branch bug fixing team will work on one branch and research team will work on one branch future development will be done in one branch so to do the parallel works we will maintain the branches in the repository one repository can have multiple branches you can create the branches directly from here 
developers also can create the branches devops people also can create the branches okay so why i am teaching you this concept here is so if the people has done the development in the development branch then as a devops engineer you need to deploy the code into the production from the release branch so you need to create the release branch and you need to do that okay you need to create the branches sometimes as a devops engineer you need to create the branches mainly we will use the release branch to deploy the code release branches we will use to deploy the code i will tell you application environments and how application environments are coupled with the branches in the github i will discuss that git branches so today we understood what is git branch how to create the git branches what is a git branch how to create the git branches how to clone particular branch how to clone particular branch how to switch from one branch to another branch also we understood very 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 important discussion for the branches okay what is git branch what is git branch okay why we need git branches why we need git branches how to create git branches how to create git branches how to clone particular branch how to clone particular branch how to switch from one branch to another branch so i have covered these concepts understood what is git branch why we need git branches how to create git branches how to clone particular branch how to switch from one branch to another branch fine guys okay so please practice this please practice this before coming to next session so uh, guys one announcement tomorrow we don't have a class i have some personal work tomorrow so we don't have a class we will meet we will meet again on 26th may 25th may we don't have a class we will meet on the 26th may so before coming to aws class will be available guys so 7 o'clock class i will take 7 o'clock class i will take 8:30 class is not possible for me okay so before coming to next session on 26th may i want everybody to practice what is a branch in the github why we need branches how to create branches how to clone the branches how to switch from one branch to another branch and i will take another half an hour time to explain you real time scenario where we will use the branches in the real time how you will create the release branch how the code will be deployed to the environments in the application with related to the branches we are going to discuss thank you guys so please practice the branches before coming to next session we'll meet again on thursday so wednesday tomorrow no class meet again on thursday thank you bye bye good night